Hello students and welcome to this video for Excel Chapter 2 Practice Exercise Number 2. We are on page 525 in your textbook, page 525, uh, and I'm going to read this information while you're turning there, getting ready for this exercise. So Lockridge Marketing and now Analytics. As a business analyst for Lockridge Marketing Analytics, you've been tasked with, the, with awarding performance bonuses. You prepare a model to calculate employee bonuses based on average customer satisfaction survey results. The survey is based on a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the highest and 1 being the lowest. Employees with survey results where ratings are between 1 and 2.9 do not receive bonuses, and scores between 3 and 3.9 earn a 2% one-time bonus on their monthly salary, and scores of 4 of however or f excuse me, four or higher receive a 5% bonus. In addition, you calculate basic summary data for reporting purposes, and of course we can refer to figure 2.30 as we complete this exercise. So step A here, we're opening up this file, and of course we're saving with a new name. So I'm going to click File, Save As, and I'm choosing to save it to my OneDrive. You're going to save it to your flash drive. And of course, we're adding in the underscore and then putting our la your last name and your first name. And then save. Step B, it says we are clicking the formulas tab. And we need to click in cell B4. So cell B4, so next to today. Formulas tab, we're choosing date and time, and we're choosing today. So today. And then click OK. And it puts in the date for us right here. Then on the next page, you can see this exercise isn't long at all. It says click cell B5. Click the auto sum arrow. And then select count numbers. And you're going to select the range A10 through A15. So A10 is right here through A15. Those cells right there and then press enter so it counts for us we got six employees that were surveyed step D it says click cell C10 so C of course 10 is right here under monthly salary and it says we're gonna type into the cell equals B10 divided by 12 so B10 divided by 12 and it says to hold down control and push enter so it leaves it the active cell and I'm going to double check and make sure that's the right amount, which it looks like it is. And then I'm going to double click the fill handle. And of course it fills in my other active cells. Now one thing that's different that I'm going to change here um, is I'm going to click on the cell again and we're going to move the decimal place over so it matches the other. Okay, apparently it was just because of how I had it. So you may have to increase the decimal place. It might fix it for you. Um, we'll see when you do it. Step E. Step E. It says enter the ratings bonus based on survey average by doing the following. It says click cell E10. So here's our rating bonus section. And in E10, we're supposed to type equals C10 asterisk multiplied by. And then it says click lookup and reference in the functions library. So I'm going to click on the formulas tab again. I'm going to do lookup and reference. And then I'm going to choose here, it says H lookup. H lookup. So I just selected that. This is how our formula is looking so far. And of course, this is our function arguments dialog box. We're going to fill in some information here. It says di type D10 in the lookup value box. And then it says type E dollar sign four, so absolute, colon G dollar sign 5 so absolute in the table array box and then it says type 2 in the row or excuse me it should be column index number but we're gonna type it it says here in the row index number box so we'll do that oh you know what here's our problem this is I went and typed in the wrong thing here so you always have to double check no the d10 this and then 2 Okay, we're going to try that and we're going to click OK. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go back to my figure here and make sure it's the right number, which it is correct. So $208.33. And let's double click 
on the fill handle and it will fill in the rest for us. And it should be, I'm going to double check that figure again, looks like the appropriate amounts. And here's our formula up here. All right, now step F, it says we need to calculate each employee's monthly take home by doing the following. Click cell F10, so under monthly take home. And it says type equals C10 plus E10. And I'm going to push, hold on control and push enter. It's going to calculate the formula. And I'm going to double click the fill handle. And I'll go to figure 2.3 and check. That looks to be, appears to be correct. All right, step G. It says calculate the basic summary statistics by doing the following. So we're going to click cell B19. So B19, which is down here, right under statistics and next to the lowest bonus. It says click the formulas tab. So I did already have that selected. It says click the auto sum arrow and select min. So I click that and min. Then it says select range E10 through E15. So rating bonus E10 through E15. You can see right there. And then press enter. Of course it changes it to that amount. Then it says in cell B20. So by pushing enter I went there. Click the auto sum arrow. And of course, we're choosing average because we're finding the average bonus. It says select range. You guessed it, E10 through E15. So E10 through E15. And then I press enter, and it gives me that number. And then finally, cell B20 or B21, we're already there. Click the auto sum arrow. Click max. And then it says select range, E10 through E15. It's amazing how you can see some of these things are just very repetitive. It's very easy um, once you know how you just do kind of some of the same steps. I'm going to go to figure 2.3 to make sure these are the right numbers. They appear to be correct. Then it says step H, we're going to create a footer. So I'm going to save this just because. And then I'm going to go to page layout. I'm going to click the dialog box launcher in the page setup group. I'm going to choose the header and footer tab. Of course, custom footer and we're doing the same thing we've been doing the whole time your name on the left side and of course the sheet name going in the center and then the file name going on the right side like this I'm gonna click OK and then it says all we have to do after that so I'll click OK again is to save and close the workbook so that is how you complete Excel chapter 2 practice exercise number 2 this is what it should look like at the end and of course submit that the way you've been instructed for class